again in child's pose. Knees wide, seat the feet, arms spread forward. Breathing here, deepen the breath. Expand the belly, ribs and the chest. Exhale, chest, ribs and belly. Notice if these breaths start to make you feel sleepy or tired. Push through that. We'll be creating strength in the diaphragm to breathe against impingements and restrictions in the poses, as well as the practice of taking these deep, full breaths off of the mat and into our daily lives. Inhale, shifting forward, find knees down plank, hips shifted forward as well. Exhale, lowering through a modified chaturanga, elbows hug in towards the rib cage all the way down. Inhale, pressing back up, knees down plank, bring the left hand to the inside of the mat, open the right hand up towards the sky, right leg kicks out, modified side plank. Exhale, both hands meet the mat, push back, child's pose. Inhale, shift forward, knees down plank. Exhale, lowering, modified chaturanga. Inhale, back up, knees down plank, right hand to the middle of the mat, left leg kicks out, left arm reaches up, modified side plank. Exhale, both hands meet the back, push back, child's pose. Again, inhale, shift forward, knees down plank. Exhale, lowering knees down, chaturanga. Inhale, pushing up, knees down, plank. Right hand comes up towards the sky, left hand to the middle of the mat, right leg kicks out, modified side plank. Exhale, both hands meet the mat, push back, child's pose. Inhale, shift forward, knees down, plank. Exhale, lowering knees down, chaturanga. Inhale, back up, knees down, plank, right hand to the middle of the mat, left hand up towards the sky, left leg kicks out, modified side plank. Exhale, both hands meet the mat, push back, child's pose. Inhale, walk the hands over to the right off the mat, let the head find this ground again, drawing the body to the left towards the center of the mat, feel the left side stretch. Inhaling, release, walk the hands over to the left, letting them come off the mat, drop the head back down. Drawing the body back to center with dynamic tension, expand the ribs on the right side body with the breath. Exhale, come back to center, child's pose. Inhale, shift forward, find your belly. Hands underneath the shoulders, lift up into a low cobra. Maybe the hands hover over the ground, making the low back do the work. Hands pull back slightly, straighten the arms, finding a seal pose, unclench the buttocks. Exhale, lowering down, find a low cobra again, hands hovering, low back contracted. Bring the hands back, press into the arms to straighten them, finding seal pose again, unclench the buttocks. Exhale, lowering down, push back, child's pose. Inhale, shift forward into plank and then push back into downward facing dog, ensuring that you have the proper spacing. The hands and feet will not move from the plank pose. Finding that downward facing dog, we'll pedal the feet out together. Inhale, high onto the toes. Exhale, right heel sinks. Inhale, high onto the toes. Exhale, left heel sinking. Inhale, into the toes. Exhale, right heel down. Inhale, into the balls of the feet. Exhale, left heel down. One more time through. Inhale, high onto the toes. Exhale, right heel. Inhale, into the toes. Exhale, left heels. Inhale into both toes, exhale, sink both heels towards the ground, set the head deep between the biceps, hyperextending through the shoulders slightly. Shoulders are still down away from the ears. 
Inhale, high into the toes again. Exhale, bend the knees, hovering them just over the mat. Feel the work of keeping the head between the biceps. Thighs catch fire. Exhale, coming back to downward facing dog. Maybe your heels sink a little bit closer. Inhale, walk the hands back to the feet, finding forward fold at the back of your mat. Inhale, swing arms high overhead, upward facing arms, back bend slightly here. Notice how you must work to keep the breath cycle smooth, even in the smallest of back bends. Exhale, bend the knees, keep drawing the upper body upright into chair pose, Utkatasana, feel the work in the low back. Inhale, release this upward facing arms. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Offer the heart to the front of the room to flatten the upper back. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, grab opposite elbows here. Head is heavy, gaze is between the legs. Inhaling high into the toes. Exhale, rock back into the heels. Again, inhale, roll into the balls of the feet. Exhale, roll back into the heels, lift the toes. One more time. Inhale, rolling into the toes, lift the heels. Exhale, back into the heels, lift the toes. Reground evenly through the four corners of the feet. Maybe swaying side to side in a ragdoll if this helps the low back release in a way that feels helpful. When you're ready to come back into stillness, release the elbows, finding forward fold. Inhale, walk your hands back out to downward facing dog, maybe finding a plank pose to ensure your spacing. Exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward into plank. Exhale, lowering through your chaturanga, elbows hug in tight all the way down, up dog or cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Two more times through. Inhale, shift forward plank. Exhale, yogi's choice, lowering. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, shift forward plank. Exhale, elbows touch the ribs all the way down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze to the top of the mat. Find your forward fold, step, jump, or hop there. Inhale, swing the arms up high overhead, back bending slightly, observe the breath. Exhale, chair pose, drop the bottom, arms still reaching upright, feel that work in the low back, weight is in the heels. Inhale, upward facing arms, straighten the legs. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold down. Plant the hands, step, jump, or hop back, finding downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Bend the knee. Open up the hip. Straighten the leg, reaching the leg up towards the sky. Now bring the right leg to the right side of the room, feeling the work of staying with this weight. And then carefully bring the leg all the way around to place it on the right side of the mat for lizard pose. Here, maybe you bring the forearms down to the ground. Maybe you're using blocks. Keep the back knee lifted and strong. With either the left forearm down or the left hand down, reach the right arm up towards the sky, revolving or twisting your lizard. Exhale, both hands meet the ground. Swing the right leg high again, three-legged down dog, square up the hip. 
Exhale, bring the right knee to the right elbow. Lower the knee down toward the wrist. Exhale, bring the knee back up towards the elbow. Send the right leg high, three-legged down dog. Inhale, right knee to left elbow. Exhale, lower the knee down to the wrist. Bring this back up, knee to elbow. Exhale, three-legged down dog. Inhale, bring the right knee to the nose. Exhale, pop the foot down between the hands, rise up into warrior one. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, folding down into pyramid pose. Inhale, bend the right knee, wiggle the left foot out, coming onto the ball of the foot, extend the arms to the front of the room. Chest can be on the thigh or on the inside of the thigh, extended high lunge, upper body is level with the ground. Inhale, power this up, high lunge. Inhale, open out, warrior two. Exhale, sink into the right knee. Inhale, straighten the right leg, reach out for the front of the room. When you can't reach any further, finding triangle, Utita Trikonasana, pulling the left side body to the wall behind you. Inhale, gaze in front of the right foot. Let the right hand find the floor, the block, or floating, balancing half moon as the left leg and left arm reaches up towards the sky. Inhale, square this up to the floor. Warrior three, turn the left toe in slightly to level out the hips. Hands can be at heart center, out to the side, or overhead. Exhale, both hands meet the ground, standing splits. Inhale, left foot meets the right, forward fold. Exhale, drop the bottom, come into yogi squat, ensure that the feet and heels are down. Wiggle this out, find your steadiness here. Planting the hands, lift up into your version of Lolasana Pendant Pose. If you're unable to lift the body, try to attempt it three times. Carefully set yourself on the floor with your knees and your feet, finding the preparation for Camel Pose. Inhale, shift the hips forward, let the hands come back, maybe finding the low back blocks or the heels. Keep the gaze to the front of the room or to the ceiling without letting the head drop back. If you have it in your practice, perhaps you drop further back into thunderbolt pose, lifting the hips, letting the top of the head find the ground. As you are ready, drawing yourself back up into preparation for camel. Place the hands into the ground, find your yogi squat. Plant the hands on the ground, find your crow pose. From here, step or jump back into your vinyasa flow. Perhaps you catch yourself in plank and lower. Perhaps you push back and find chaturanga, up dog or cobra as you want, lingering here. 
On an exhale, finding your downward facing dog. Catch your breath. Inhale, left leg high, open up the hip, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten up the leg, keeping this opening up towards the sky. Carefully swing the left leg out towards the left side of the room, feeling the weight of the leg here. And then continue this motion to place the left foot on the left side of the mat, finding lizard pose. You can be on your hands. Maybe you're using blocks to raise the floor or coming down onto forearms. Keep the back knee lifted and strong, wiggling out here. Feel the hips open for you. Planting the right hand on the inside of the left foot. Maybe you come down to forearm or block. Lift the left arm up to the sky, finding a revolved or twisted lizard. Exhale, come back to center. Both hands plant, swing the left leg high again, three-legged down dog, squaring up the hips. Inhale, left knee to left elbow. Lower the knee down to the wrist. Exhale, bring it back up to the elbow. Send it high again, three-legged down dog. Inhale, exhale, left knee to right elbow. Lower the knee down to the right wrist. Exhale, bring it back up to the elbow. Send the leg high, three-legged down dog. Inhale, left knee to nose. Exhale, pop the foot down between the hands. Rise up into warrior one. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, folding down pyramid pose. Inhale, bend back into the left knee. Extend the arms out long for the front of the room. Wiggle the right leg out until you're on the ball of the foot, finding extended high lunge. Upper body is level to the floor. The upper body can be on the leg or on the inside of the left thigh. Inhale, power this up, high lunge. Inhale, open out, exhale, sink down, warrior two. Inhale, straighten up the left leg. Exhale, reach out for the front of the room when you can't reach any further forward. Utita Trikonasana, triangle pose. Inhale, gaze in front of the left foot. Bring the left hand to the floor, block or floating. Right leg reaches up with the right hand for balancing half moon. Inhale, square yourself up to the floor for warrior three. Hands can be at heart center, out to the side. Airplane arms or stand or drawing them to the front of the room. Inhale, release. Hands to the ground, finding standing splits. Exhale, right foot meets the left, forward fold.
Inhale, exhale, drop the bottom, finding yogi squat, heels are down. Widen the stance if necessary. Hands to heart center. Plant the hands on the ground, finding your version of pendant pose or perhaps three attempts. Lowering the knees and shins to the ground, prepping for camel pose, send the hips forward. Finding your version of camel pose, gaze can be to the ceiling or the front of the room. If it's in your practice, dropping this back into thunderbolt. As you are ready to do so, rising back up into camel prep and then coming up into yogi squat again. Plant the hands, find your crow pose. Yogi's choice, perhaps you jump back into chaturanga or plank and chaturanga, up dog. Cobra, and then as you are ready to find downward facing dog, take your time. Breathe. Inhale, right leg up, bend the knee. Straightening the leg, open this out towards the right side of the room. And then bring this all the way to the front of the mat, finding your lizard lunge again. Perhaps you are able to walk the arms underneath the leg, taking the fingertips wide, the arms out straight. Try to keep the shoulders level here. Bringing your hands back in to center. Send the right leg back high again, three-legged down dog. Square up the hips. Inhale, bring the right knee to the right elbow. From here, perhaps you extend the leg straight. Maybe you can find an EPK2 arm balance if this is in your practice. Releasing this, send the right leg high again, three-legged down dog. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Extend the leg long. Maybe you are balancing here in EPK1. Send the leg back high again, three-legged down dog. Inhale, bring the right knee to the nose. Exhale, pop the foot down between the hands, rise up, warrior one. Inhale, extend the right leg, exhale, folding down pyramid pose. Walk the hands out in front of the right foot, making an equilateral triangle. Extended pyramid pose. Feel how much this intensifies the sensation on the back of the right leg. Inhale, bending into the right knee. Extend the arms to the front of the room, finding extended high lunge. Torso is level with the ground. Exhale, powering this up, high lunge. Inhale, open out. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach out to the front of the room as you straighten the right leg, finding triangle pose, Utita Trikonasana. If it's in your practice, perhaps using a strap if necessary, bind your triangle.
from bound triangle, bringing the gaze in front of the right leg. Perhaps you can bring this up into a bound balancing half moon. If not, release the bind and find half moon. Inhale, find warrior three, exhale, turn the left toe in slightly to level out the hips. Inhale, exhale, both hands find the ground, standing splits. Inhale, left foot meets the right, exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, exhale, drop the bottom, find squat. Wiggling out to keep the heels down if necessary. Inhaling, exhale, find your seat, boat pose as the legs come up, arms reach up. Exhale, release this, lowering the upper body down, set up for bridge pose. Feet are inner hip width distance apart. Inhale, send the hips high up, finding bridge, squeeze the buttocks and then release them, making the work about the low back. Perhaps you take a clasp underneath the back, walking the shoulders underneath you, bringing the chest closer towards your chin. Inhale, bring the right knee into the chest. Exhale, stomp the right leg onto the ceiling, feeling the work in the left buttock. Inhale, right knee back into chest. Exhale, right foot finds the ground. Send the hips back up. Inhale, left knee comes into the chest. Exhale, stomp the foot on the ceiling. Inhale, left knee into the chest. Exhale, both feet find the ground. Bridge pose. Release the clasp if you have it. Roll back down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, rise back up into boat pose, Navasana. Exhale, let the feet find the ground as you come up into squat. Perhaps your feet are wider apart. Perhaps you need to use the hands to assist. Planting the hands on the ground, find your crow pose. And as you are ready, yogi's choice, jumping back through your chaturanga, up dog or cobra. And only when you are ready, finding your downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high again. Three-legged down dog, bend the knee, open up the hip. Inhale, straighten the leg, pointing the toe, lifting this up towards the sky. Bring the left leg to the left side of the room, feeling the weight of the limb. Exhale, let this swing all the way to the top of the mat planting the left foot on the left side of the mat for your lizard pose. Walking the left arm underneath the thigh, try to take the arms straight, fingertips wide, trying to keep the shoulders level. Perhaps your gaze comes up here, extending your lizard. Carefully bring yourself back in to plant the hands on the mat, swing the left leg high. Three-legged down dog, squaring up the hips. Inhale, bring the left knee to the left elbow. Extend the leg long, perhaps arm balancing here, APK2. Exhale, leg goes high again, three-legged down dog. Inhale, left knee to right elbow, extend the leg. Perhaps taking an arm balance here if it's in your practice. Exhale, send it high, three-legged down dog. Inhale, left knee to nose. Exhale, pop the foot down between the hands, rising up, warrior one.
Inhale, extending the left leg. Exhale, folding down into your pyramid pose, Parsvatanasana. Take the hands in front of that left foot, extending your pyramid. Inhale, bending into the left knee, wiggle out the right foot, extend the arms to the front of the room. Torso is level with the ground for extended high lunge. Exhale, and then power this up into high lunge, arms come up high. Inhale, open out, exhale, sink into warrior two. Inhale, extend the left leg. Exhale, reaching out for the front of the room. Find your triangle, Utita Trikonasana. If it's in your practice, perhaps using a strap, bind the triangle on the back of the left leg. Perhaps from here, you can find a bound balancing half moon. That's not in your practice, releasing the bind so that the left hand can find the ground and find balancing half moon. <laughs> Inhale, release to square to the floor here, warrior three. Arms can be wherever you need them to be. Exhale, both hands find the ground, standing splits. Inhale, right foot meets the left. Exhale, folding forward. Inhaling, exhale, drop the bottom. Find your yogi squat. Inhale, exhale, bottom meets the ground. Legs rise up, boat pose, Navasana. Inhale, release the feet to the ground, lowering the upper body, prepare for bridge. Inhale, hips high, squeeze the buttocks, exhale, release them, making the low back do the work. Maybe you're walking the hands underneath you, using the shoulders to lift the chest higher. Inhale, left knee into the chest. Exhale, left foot up towards the sky. Inhale, left knee to chest. Exhale, both feet find the ground. Send the hips high again. Inhale, right knee into chest. Exhale, right foot towards the ceiling. Exhale. Inhale, right knee into the chest. Exhale, right foot finds the ground, bridge pose. Lower down one vertebrae at a time, releasing the clasp if you have it. Rolling back up, find your boat pose, Navasana, balancing here. Exhale, release the feet to the floor, find yogi squat. Maybe your feet are wider here in order to make this. Maybe you have to use the hands. Inhale, exhale, the hands to the ground, finding your crow pose. Yogi's choice, step or jump back. Chaturanga, lowering. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And as you feel ready to do so, finding your downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up, three-legged down dog. Exhale, step the right leg through into runner's lunge. Wiggling out here, keep the back knee lifted and strong as the groin reaches down towards the ground. Dropping the back knee, lift up into low lunge, Anjane Asana. Arms come up high, gaze comes up, back bending slightly here, control the breath.
Inhaling, exhale, release the hands down. Take the right hand with a block if necessary next to the right hip, not forward of it. Draw the left arm up high overhead, taking a side stretch, laterally stretching the slow lunge. These can be up to the left thumb if your neck is comfortable there. Inhaling, exhale, release the lateral stretch. Bring the left elbow to the right thigh, twisting, pressing the right hand down into the left. Try to push the body back away from the thigh. We are not coming over the thigh. We're pushing the body away from the thigh, gazes over the right shoulder. Maybe the forearms can come level with the thigh. Inhale, release, exhale, coming into pigeon pose. Use any props necessary in order to get the shin parallel to the front of the mat. The right ankle is on the left side of the mat. The right knee is on the right side of the mat. Propping the right hip and buttock. Draw the arms high overhead, back bending slightly. Inhale, release, exhale, folding over the front shin. You might be on hands, forearms, props, or laying out long. Chin is lifted away from the chest. The gaze is at the top of the mat. Keeping the collarbones broad, the shoulders pulling down. We're still working our upper body posture. Breathe here as the left hip returns down to the mat. Flex the right ankle if you have any discomfort in the right knee. Carefully releasing the right hand off of the right thigh. Rotate yourself over the thigh. You control the depth of the twist. Releasing this carefully, bring the right elbow on the inside of the right sole of the foot. If you can't reach this, place a block in front of the right shin and place the elbow on the block. Left hand presses down into the right, twisting. Inhaling, release this. Plant the hands on the mat. Pop the right foot down onto the mat. Extend the arms to the front of the room to find high lunge. Inhale, exhale, power this up, high lunge. Inhale, left foot steps up to meet the right. Chair pose, keep the bottom dropping, upper body is reaching up. Exhale, step the right leg over the left knee for figure four chair. From here, if it's in your practice, perhaps you find flying pigeon, flying grasshopper, or a toe stand. Whatever feels like work to you here. Inhale, coming back into figure four chair. Release the right leg down to the ground. Drop down into your yogi squat, Malasana. Inhale, hands plant. Exhale, crow pose. Finding your version of crow pose. Stepping or jumping back as you are ready to flow through your vinyasa. Finding downward facing dog in your own time. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged down dog. 
Exhale, step the left leg through, finding runner's lunge. Breathe here, push back, keep the right knee straight, let the groin sink. Release the right knee down to the ground, finding low lunge. Arms come up high overhead, back bending here. Stay with the breath, observe any emotional reactions this causes. Anger, frustration, hatred for me. Inhale, releasing the back bend. Bring a block if necessary so that the left hand finds next to the left hip, not in front of it. Draw the right arm overhead, taking that lateral or side stretch. Gaze is up to the right thumb. Control the breath. Inhale, releasing this. Exhale, right elbow to left thigh, twisting. Remember, we are not coming over the thigh. We are trying to push the body back to the back of the room. Maybe the forearms can come level with the thigh. Gaze is over the left shoulder. Inhaling, exhale, release this. Finding pigeon pose, bring the left shin parallel to the top of the mat, finding whatever props are necessary on this side to bring the hips level. Maybe you need more or less than you did on the other side. Release any judgment of that. As you feel ready, draw the arms high overhead in a slight back bend here. Again, controlling the breath cycle. Inhaling, exhale, release the hands to the mat, finding your fold over the front shin. Keep yourself working on upper body posture. Chin is still lifted. If you can see the back of the mat, you've dropped the head. Inhale, carefully walk the left hand off of that left thigh and begin to rotate over the thigh. You control the depth of the twist. Maybe you need to come up a little here. Maybe you are fine where you are as we deepen this pose. Inhaling, releasing that. Bring the left elbow on the inside of the left sole of the foot. Maybe if this is not acceptable, you can bring a block in front of the left shin. Right hand presses down into the left to rotate over the leg. Inhale, exhale, releasing this. Plant the hands, pop the left foot down onto the mat. Drawing the arms to the front of the room, find extended high lunge. Exhale, power this up, high lunge. Inhale, step the right foot up to meet the left, chair pose. Upper body is still drawing up, right? Inhale, exhale, step the left foot over the right knee for figure four chair. From your figure four chair, if it's in your practice, you can try a flying pigeon pose, perhaps rotating into a flying grasshopper pose, or perhaps coming down lower into a toe stand, whatever feels like work for you today, find that. As you are ready, coming back up into figure four chair. Inhale, exhale, release the left ankle from the right knee, lower down into yogi squat, malasana. Wiggle this out, heels are down. Plant the hands on the ground, find your crow pose. And as you are ready from here, step, jump, hopping, taking this back 
through your vinyasa flow, chaturanga, up dog or cobra, and downward facing dog. Catch your breath. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged down dog. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Straighten the leg, lift this up towards the sky. Draw the right leg out to the right side of the room. And as slowly as possible, bring this in to your lizard pose. From lizard pose, if you have it, you can take this into a flying lizard or perhaps a flying splits. Making this feel like work to you. When you are ready, plant the hands, send the right leg high, three-legged down dog. Square up the hips. Inhale, right knee to right elbow, extend the leg, find your EPK here, if that's in your practice, arm balancing or attempting to arm balance. Exhale, three-legged down dog. Inhale, right knee to left elbow, extend the right leg, maybe arm balancing here, EPK one. Exhale, three-legged down dog. Inhale, right knee to nose. Exhale, pop the foot down between the hands. Rise up, warrior one. Inhale, plant the hands in front of the feet, finding standing splits. Lift the left leg high. Exhale, let the left foot find the back of the hat as the right knee bends, arms reach out for the front of the room into extended high lunge. Inhale, the arms high overhead, high lunge, rising up. Exhale, find warrior two. Inhale, flip open the right palm, lean forward slightly. Exhale, extending back, reverse warrior. Inhale, straighten the right leg, sky archer. Inhale, reach out for the front of the room, finding your triangle, Utita Trikonasana. Maybe binding this here. And then exhale, finding your half moon with or without the bind. Inhale, release to warrior three, squaring up towards the floor. Exhale, both hands meet the mat, standing splits. Inhale, left foot meets the right, exhale, forward folding. Drop the bottom, wiggle the feet out, finding your yoga squat. Inhale, let the bottom meet the ground, arms and legs reach up into boat pose. Exhale, lowering down into wheel prep. Bringing the hands next to the ears, fingers point to the front of the room. Press into the hands and feet, bring the crown of the head towards the floor and then press the rest of the way, finding your wheel pose. You can stay here or inhale the right leg into the chest. Exhale, stomping the foot on the ceiling. Inhale, right knee to chest. Exhale, both feet meet the floor. Send the hips high. Inhaling, left knee into chest. Exhale, left foot finds the sky. 
Inhale, left knee to chest, exhale, both legs down. Inhale, exhale, lowering back down to your back. Bring the knees into the chest and then extend the arms and legs coming back up onto the sits bones for boat pose. Exhale, find your yogi squat. Perhaps your feet need to come wider in order to make this movement or perhaps you have to press into the ground with the hands. Inhale, find your crow pose. And as you are ready, exhale, jump back through your chaturanga, up dog or cobra, and then downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high, bend the knee, open up the hip. Inhale, straighten the leg, lifting the toe up towards the sky. And then exhale, draw the left leg out towards the left side of the room. As slowly as possible, bring the left foot to the top of the mat, finding your lizard pose. Perhaps you take this into a flying lizard or a flying splits if it's in your practice finding the version of lizard or arm balance that feels like work for you here. Planting both hands, send the right leg, I'm sorry, send the left leg high again, three-legged down dog, square the hips up to the ground. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, extend the left leg, finding your version of EPK if an arm balance is in your practice here. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged down dog. Exhaling, left knee to right elbow, extending out for EPK one. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, left knee to nose. Pop the left foot down between the hands, rise up, warrior one. Inhale, straighten the left leg, exhale, fold down as the right leg lifts into standing splits. Bending into the left knee, let the right foot find the back of the mat, extend the arms to the front of the room, extended high lunge, breathe here. Inhale, power this back up, high lunge. Inhale, open out, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip open the left palm, lean forward, exhale, exalting this warrior, reverse warrior. Inhale, extend the left leg, exhale, sky archer. Inhale, reach out to the front of the room, and when you can't reach further, finding triangle, Utita Trikonasana. Perhaps you find a bind here in your triangle. If you've found a bind, maybe you can keep it as you find balancing half moon. If not, simply find balancing half moon. Carefully release this to warrior three, squaring the hips and shoulders to the floor. Exhale, let the hands find the mat, standing splits. Inhale, right foot meets the left, exhale, folding forward. Inhaling, exhale, drop the bottom into yogi squat. Wiggle the feet out if you need to, to keep the, keep the heels down. Inhale your bottom down towards the ground as the legs and arms reach up for boat pose, Navasana. Exhale, lowering down to the mat, set up for wheel pose. Bring the hands to either side of the head, fingers pointing to the front of the room. 
Inhale, press into the hands and the feet so that the crown of the head finds the mat. And then exhale, press the rest of the way up into wheel pose. Staying here in wheel pose or inhale, bring the left knee into the chest. Exhale, stomp the foot on the ceiling. Inhale, the left knee back down to the chest. Exhale, the foot meets the ground. Send the hips back high. Inhale, right knee into the chest. Exhale, right foot finds the sky. Exhale, right knee to chest. And then foot finds the ground wheel pose. Inhale, lower this back down. Rise the arms and legs high as you find balancing on the sits pones for both poses. Exhale, find yogi squat. Perhaps you need to use the hands to make this transition. Plant the hands on the ground, balance in your crow pose. Exhale, jump back, finding your yogi flow, moving through chaturanga, up dog or cobra, and then downward facing dog. Inhale, release the hands and knees to the mat. Grab blocks and place them side by side underneath the hips. Finding a sleeping dog pose, extend the arms and legs out long. Let the right or left ear find the ground first. Breathe here. Let the belly become soft, the backs of the legs, calves, and feet relax. Feel the stretch in the shoulders. This creates having the arms out long. Observe the sensations of the neck on this side. One side of the neck will be tighter than the other. When we switch ears, you will discover which side that was. Carefully pick up the head and seal your other ear down to the ground. Is this the tight or the loose side of your neck? What sensations in your tummy are felt as your body softens in this shape? Bringing the hands back underneath the shoulders. Press up so that you can bend the knees and release the blocks. Push back into a closed kneed child's pose here. Notice any effort there is in breathing against the thighs. If your shoulders need a break here, bring the hands back towards the heels, turning the palms to face the sky. Press the hands back into the mat to rise back up, releasing your child's pose. Swing your legs around to the front of the room and set up for a bridge pose. Inhale, send the hips high over high head. And then exhale, walk the hands underneath you, taking a clasp underneath the hips. Bringing the ch chest higher by walking the shoulders underneath, raising the chest. And exhale, we will lower the 
upper body down one vertebrae at a time on top of the clasped hands and arms. If you have rings, perhaps you have to untwist the fingers to protect them as the legs go out long. We're laying on our forearms. Feel how this opens the chest. Bending the knees again, send the hips back high. Release the clasp from underneath you, walk your shoulders back out. Bridge pose, exhale, lowering down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, rise back up, exhale, we're going to fold forward, seated forward fold. Keep the collarbones broad, chin is lifted, measuring out the space between your chest and your thighs here. Inhale, releasing the forward fold, arms reach out long off the shoulders, mummy arms. Exhale, roll down one vertebrae at a time. When you get all the way down to your back, send your legs high overhead into a shoulder stand. And carefully tilt the toes overhead, finding a plow pose. Perhaps your arms are being used to prop your low back here. Perhaps they're out long. Inhale, send the legs high overhead. Exhale, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. As your legs come down, your upper body rises, finding seated forward fold again. See if you can take this a little bit deeper. Inhale, release this arms out long, mummy arms. Exhale, rolling down one vertebrae at a time back to your back. Send your hips high overhead again, finding that shoulder stand and then exhaling into plow pose. Inhale, release, plow pose, shoulder stand, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Exhale down into seated forward fold as the legs lower, bringing the upper body up. Inhale, release the forward fold. We're going to bring ourselves into head of cow pose, folding both legs in. The right leg is on top. The left leg is on bottom. Maybe your knees stack prettily, maybe not. Grab a strap here. Taking a wide grip to the strap to keep the elbows straight. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, back behind you. Inhale forward. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale forward. One more time. Inhale up, exhale back. Release the strap with one hand. Take the other hand back behind the head. Find the strap next to that hand and then draw this out long to the side. We're stretching the arm that's coming back behind the head. Inhale, release this over to the other side. The hands will stay where they are in the strap. Feeling the opposite shoulder, take the stretch. Exhale, release the far hand. Let it find the strap from the bottom, pulling the top arm down the back. You'll feel this in the tricep and the shoulder of the upper arm. Noticing any emotional reaction this creates for you. Inhale, extend the top arm up, pulling the bottom arm up the back. It's okay to let some strap out if it makes it easier to hold on to this. Exhale, release this. We're going to let a hold of the top hand. The bottom arm comes back behind the head, dropping the strap down the back. Take the other hand, find the strap from the bottom, and pull the top arm down the back. Gaze is up. 
Inhale, pull the bottom arm up the back, maybe letting out extra strap. We'll feel this in the bottom shoulder in the front, maybe the shoulder blade behind you. Inhaling, release this. We'll set the strap off to the side. Exhale, fold down over the legs. Let the feet be soft here. Maybe the belly presses into the right thigh on the inhale, letting you sink a little deeper on the exhale. Carefully releasing this. Let the legs go out long, wiggle them out if they need time to receive. And your legs have forgiven you. We'll find head of cow with the left leg on top. Pulling the feet back towards the hips. Maybe the knees are stacking prettily, maybe not. When you're ready, inhale the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, let them come down. Inhale, hauling them up. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, squeeze the neck so tightly, lock it up to the back of the head or the shoulders. Exhale, release down. Dropping the right ear over to the right shoulders, reach the left fingers out long for the floor, and then take the right hand and place it on the side of the head, not pulling, just letting the elbow be heavy. Inhale, release the side of the head. Let the head rock on this side, maybe the turning the chin up or down, maybe looking over the shoulder, exploring on this side of the neck. Turn the left palm to face the sky. And take the left hand behind the back for the right hip and graceful bow. Bring the gaze into the right armpit. Take the right hand to the back or side of the head, letting the elbow be heavy. Pull this a little bit deeper. Inhale, release this. Look over one shoulder and then the other to release the tension. This might be tender. Inhale, the left ear over to the left shoulder. Reach the right fingers long for the floor and then place the left hand on the side of the head, letting the elbow be balanced. Lengthen the neck. Inhale, release the left hand. Let the head rock on this side, exploring the neck. Looking for anything that wants your attention or your love, turn the right palm to the sky. And take the right hand behind the back for the right, for the left hip, finding graceful bow. Bring the gaze into the left armpit. Take the left hand to the back or side of the head, letting the weight of the elbow gently increase the stretch. Inhale, release this, look over one shoulder and then the other to release the neck. Sitting up tall through the spine, drop the chin to the chest, maybe bringing the hands behind the head to intensify this. Sitting tall in the spine and breathing into the belly brings this deeper between the shoulder blades, stretching. Inhale, release. Exhale, folding down over the legs, finding your head of cow pose, maybe your feet are soft here. Maybe the breath helps pull you deeper. Inhaling, releasing. Exhale, let the legs go out long. Grab a block. We're going to place the block underneath the waistband, between the waistband and the very top of the buttocks. The block can be on the medium setting or the low setting, whichever feels appropriate. Draw the arms and legs out long here, pontoon pose. Allow the body to soften in this back bend. If you feel your body is fighting you in this back bend, lower the level of the block.
bringing the arms down, bend the knees, and bring the block lower, coming onto the flattest setting and moving the block underneath the bottom third of the bottom so that it feels like your tailbone is being tucked. Legs go out long here. Trying to soften here so that it doesn't feel like you have a block underneath you at all. Hopefully it feels as if you were laying flat, even though your tailbone, your low hips are being shifted forward. you have an eye mask, you can go ahead and place it on your eyes now. Let your belly be soft. Feel any tummy sensations that you experience with the hips shifted forward like this. Bending the knees as necessary. Pull the block out from underneath you. Walk your shoulders underneath you, letting the weight of the body pin them in place. Turn the palms to face the sky, finding your Shavasana, your corpse pose. This will be the most important pose of our practice, where our bodies find a new understanding based on the poses we've just completed. Allow this time to be your time. Receiving, allowing. Letting the muscles of your face release to slide down the bones of your skull, your shoulders relax, your fingers curl in. The spine pulls you down into the earth as the muscles of the legs unwrap from the bone. Let the natural rhythmic cycle of your breath return. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring energy back into your body. Note how you feel now and compare this to how you felt when we began. Draw your arms overhead high in a morning stretch. Everything's squeezing and tight. And then bring your knees to your chest to give yourself a hug, thanking yourself for practicing before rolling over to your favorite side for transition and rebirth. As you feel ready, push yourself up to seated, crossing the legs and stacking the bones of your spine. Inhale, draw the arms high overhead, palms to touch. Exhale them down to heart center. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. My blessing upon you. We are complete. Namaste. Hope you guys like that. That was demanding, especially for me.